Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos, myself Udai. In this video, I would like to demonstrate to you about how to work with QTP environmental variables. QTP provides two types of environmental variables. One is built-in environmental variables and second one is user-defined environmental variables. So, built-in uh, built environmental variables are nothing but we, these are the variables where you can hold uh, pre-populated values for those variables. So, for example, say you want to retrieve what is the current, uh, like, you know, test name that you are working with, where exactly it is getting saved. So, when you save a test, it will be saved in a specified, uh, specified location, right? So, in order to retrieve that kind of, like, you know, uh, the path, what you can use, uh, what you can do is, you can use system level built-in environmental variable right so there is an another type another type of environmental variables called user defined where we can specify a name and value for those environmental variables right so let's see where exactly we, can, we need to configure those values okay so in order to retrieve uh, environmental variables you just need to click on file menu click on settings tab in settings we have an environmental tab where you need to choose where you can see variable type as built-in and user defined environmental variables so whatever the values what are the environmental variables that are listed here are built-in environmental variables right so for example whatever the action name that you are working in the action name environmental variable retrieve you the action name that is getting executed right so product directory what it will do is wherever the uh, qtp got installed it will retrieve the path as you can see the value of that variable is displayed here right so the for example if you want to retrieve the current test like you know i didn't save this test so when you click on test directory this is the place this test qtp test exists right so all these are whatever displayed in this built-in uh, environmental variables are built-in like you know these values we can be uh, by default uh, populated with some value right so we can uh, create our own user defined when environmental variable by choosing user defined option okay in user defined environmental variables we have two types one is internally user defined environmental variables and another one is external user defined environmental variables so let's see how we can create this so by just clicking on plus symbol it will ask you name and value these are how we can create internal user defined variables for example i would like to create an um, user defined variable as first name and its corresponding value is who they okay and i can i want to create an another environmental variable like last name and so as you can see this is my environmental variable the corresponding value is who they okay so of type internal right so you can like you know for example say your test may be needing these environmental variables dynamically those variables will be stored somewhere in some xml file okay the values will be auto populated dynamically in order to do that what you need to do is uh, the xml file needs to be in a specific syntax like you know see the xml file should start like environment in that we should have these values right and which have a name and value whatever the value that you supply here those values will be populated for example at this moment i want to create a environmental variable of name uh, of name a okay the corresponding value is 32 right in the same way i want to create an another environmental variable of name location and its corresponding value is indium so you can put like whatever the environmental variables in an xml file and you can import this file right let's see how we can do that just choose in environmental in environment you just choose this checkbox and give the path name where you have that file right you just 
import that file as you can see this is how we can import this environmental variable from an external XML file right so how exactly we can read uh, retrieve these values in an QTP test okay so in order to retrieve this what we have is an we have an environment utility object this is environment is an utility object which has a method called value okay so first let's see how we will retrieve built in environmental variable right so we have an environmental variable called c product that where exactly this qtp got installed right to retrieve this value we can use product dir environmental variable okay Just print it. Let's see what is get printed here. As you can see, this is the place where my QTP got installed, right? For example, in the same way, you, if you would like to retrieve the test path where exactly this test is, this test exists, right? So to do that, the second it hang. Come on, come on. What happened? Just a second. Yeah. So, as you can see, to retrieve that value. This is the test directory, the environmental variable where this test exists, right? So I want to retry that value. So what I need to specify here, I need to specify test dir. This is the environmental variable to retry that value, right? Let's see what is get printed here. As you can see, this is the place where my test exists. Okay. Let's see how we can retrieve user defined variables. The like the function will be same, whatever the name that existing in there, you need to give that name. So what is my, uh, you know, internal user defined variable? It is first name. First name, let's see what is get displayed here. Today, right? So let's see how we can retrieve external user defined environmental variable external environmental variable is location right so when i give that variable name it should print whatever the value associated with that variable right so uh, you need not to like you know specify or configure these values directly in qtp itself you can assign like you know these values in our script itself like what you have to do is in environment dot value you can specify whatever the name like you know variable that you want to give here so what we have give here location is done so department say okay it is just in department okay so once you give like this what it will do is it will create an environmental variable of type department let's see what is getting printed here so when i say print it should print testing here right this is how we can create environmental variables right so and there is an another uh, method like you know environment the dot load file like you know what i did manually i imported that file right side just by clicking on environment choose built in uh, sorry user defined this is like you know i manually did it right so rather you can do that through scripting by using method called dot load from file and where you need to specify the path of this name uh, file name here 
so whatever the part that is uh, using here for example uh, that i uh, already did manually but you can uh, do the same using uh, scripting right so if you want to demonstrate this let's control okay let me show you that in a separate test file so as you can see I'm just loading this file. After that, what I will do is I will do environ main dot value, right? With what is the variable that I have here? Location. So when I click on it here, it should retrieve the value. Is it? that is how we will work with environmental variables right so thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you